We got our next round of meat chickens. We weren't supposed to get them for another couple of weeks, but um, fortunately we're processing the first round um, this Saturday, so the chicken tractor will be open and available for these little boogers, but they do stay in this brooder for a couple of weeks. We, we usually keep them in here so that they're nice and tidy under a heat lamp to stay warm because we still have some very cold nights ahead of us. We've got another storm coming in next week and the temperatures have been dropping down to the 30s at night still. So that's, um, we'll just keep them in here until they get a little bit bigger and they can handle the chicken tractor. But um, we just feel super fortunate to be able to um, process our own and raise our own um, chicken, especially uh, I heard that there is a chicken shortage, so I feel very, very blessed to be able to have this lifestyle, have the room and the space to do it, and the wherewithal. Um, so we just wanted to update you on the second round. So we will be processing these meat chickens um, the weekend before 4th of July. Uh, we'll do it just a little bit early. We usually do about eight weeks-ish. That'll be probably seven weeks, um, but we'll do it a little early so that we don't have to do that over the 4th of July holiday. We have family coming in and we just want to be able to enjoy and not do a chore and be able to share that chicken and we'll be barbecuing and grilling that up. Well, it's a good day. <clears throat> it's not the, my favorite time of day. We're uh, processing 23 chickens today. And it's not really, I don't really like the dispatch part, but uh, we do honor the animal. We like raising our own food. And I uh, thought I'd show you the setup. I like it processing, but I don't like the dispatch. That's not the funnest part, but I uh, thought I'd show you my setup. So basically, we uh, put the chickens in a box, pull them from the chicken tractor, bring them on over here. This is uh, my homemade killing tube. Took a bucket and uh, just cut it out and then screwed it to the wall. Got a bucket with a little water underneath to make the cleanup of the blood a little better. This is just extra water I'm doing. We don't have the biggest pan in the world. That's my dunking pan, so then we dunk them uh, to make the feather removal a little easier. And this is my new chicken plucker I bought with my Biden bucks. Uh, so we can be more, more self-sufficient. Uh, it's just a one chicken one. It's a smaller non-industrial one, but uh, we'll try to get a picture of that working in action. Got a bucket underneath to catch feathers. And we just have a table over here that a cutting board to cut the legs off and do the initial stuff and then clean them got a bucket up there for the the uh vitals the ones we keep the liver and heart a couple buckets underneath to put the innards in and the legs um and what we do is we after we spin them we put them in water we've got a well right over there so we got pretty cold water so we run the water into this trough keep the birds in there cool them Dispatch them all, and then we get to process them. Once we process them, we put them in the cooler. And that's the redneck version of a chicken processing, but it works quite well. We've done quite a few chickens that way. So there's the chicken tractor. Just kind of homemade. I used an old cover. We didn't feed them last night, so they're hungry. And I do feel bad. We do care about them, and we know where our food comes from. I got to tell you, they taste way better than store-bought ones and we know what they've been fed got a lot of vitamin d because they're out in the sun but they also have shade in there um, that's 23 we also have a, a rogue hen in there that was a baby of the uh laying chickens and they will not accept her so she's kind of the brooding mama
Going quick, baby. Use your hands and feet. Kick them up in the air till you can grab them. Oh, my poor go. little hand. There you go. There you got it. Yeah, it's a, it's a motion. <laughs> it's like, get them close and then you go for it. What's the kill? to see and some more and those are hearts livers and chicken parts for stock mm, wonderful just wanted to share what we're up to um, we just feel very blessed and fortunate to be able to raise our own meat and do just live a simple um, lifestyle so thanks for joining us. God bless from our homestead to yours.